hello viewers i welcome you all from hltf tech channel today we are going to see a demonstration of how you can integrate your sharepoint uh, on premise environment with your exchange server on premise uh, environment and uh, using both of them in an integrated way how you can uh, create alerts on your list and libraries it is very uh, simple but there are some prereqs which are to be uh, ensured first of all uh, in an on premise version you must have your 2013 2016 or 2019 exchange server in an on premise environment and secondly uh, your email boxes for all those users and administrators who are going to receive alerts uh, must be created for example if i go uh, in my this uh, mail server login into exchange admin center <coughs> here uh, you can see that i have mailbox uh, for administrator for sp19 admin and for hltf tech mail admin okay these three are my main uh, user ids which i will uh, reference or refer in uh, my current video so now uh, i have uh, this pre ensure that my all of three user IDs are already created now uh, after ensuring these prereqs we are going to configure out outgoing email settings for SharePoint for doing so we will go into SharePoint server and in SharePoint server we will go into system settings and here we will configure outgoing email settings this setting is required for configuring the alerts on your list and libraries of SharePoint. So I will click here. Uh, I have name. Uh, I have added the name of my uh, Exchange server here with my FQDN name, fully qualified domain name. If I show you here how you can check your FQDN of your Exchange server, that is quite simple you will enter the nslookup command and you will enter the ip address of your uh, exchange server in my case it is 10 20 30 50 and it will show you the fqdn fully qualified domain name that is exchange.hltf.tech so the same name i have mentioned here outbound smtp server port that is 25 it is uh, normally 25 by default let me show you here if you want to see it you will go into mail flow and you will go into receive connectors and in receive connector this is a, a default front end exchange front end transport and in this version if you go into scoping here you will see that the port mentioned for all ipv4 and ipv6 addresses 25 okay so this is the port number that we are going to mention here that is 25 from address from address is not quite mandatory in configuring outgoing because all the alerts are going to a particular uh, address that is reply to address from to address is generally required whenever you are going to reply in response of your alert so in reply to address i have mentioned uh, this user that is my admin and i have leave all the uh, rest of the settings as default and i will click on ok so simply i have configured the outgoing email setting up till now now i will go into that particular site in which i uh, require to uh, create alerts this is my document library and in document library i am going to uh, create the alert you can create multiple alerts on one library that is the one i have created this alert uh, let's delete it let me show you by creating a new alert uh, this alert is simple that we are going to create a new alert on document library 
the email will be sent to sp19 admin okay all changes anything you can change this as per your requirement if you want to uh, keep it simple only when new items are added or existing items are modified or items are deleted right now i'm going to uh, sl select all changes you can also keep it to send a daily summary send a weekly summary or send a notification immediately for testing i am going to uh, select this option and i will click on ok after clicking ok my uh, alert has been created on documents now going into documents let me log in to that particular exchange user id as well sp9 uh, all alerts are being transmitted to sp19 admin so what i am going to do i'm going to log in uh, my sp19 admin account this is my sp19 admin account okay fine uh, since i have just created an alert so this message is showing you that alert has been created successfully added to hltf organization that is this one you will receive alerts according to the delivery method this this is a message that is showing me that i have been added as uh, to receive the alerts okay now what i will do i'm going to add any document here let's say i name it as a uh, version example dash triple one and i'm going to add this document here so a document has been added and after few seconds i will receive the notification here that uh, a new document that is Varian example has been added successfully. Okay, here you are seeing viewers that I have received just a new notification that version example triple one dot tax has been added and it is added by SP19 admin on this date and this time. Okay, so uh, in this way you can uh, create and manage alerts that can come on your uh, configured user ids now if i delete any of uh, such let's say i delete this one okay now i have deleted this now after few seconds you will notice that uh, a new notification will be uh, received here in my sp19 account regarding the activity that i have just done now this is the uh, you have seen that sample ms world letter has been deleted by sp19 admin account okay now additionally uh, we have seen how we can work on alerts now uh, if you want to share your any file with any of the respected user of your organization you can also do so this was the document that we just added now if i click on share and i share it with the sp19 admin and enter enter any custom message and i click on send uh, the link of this document has been successfully sent to this user here you can see this is a uh, email with the custom message with the custom message and this is showing you that this link only works for the direct recipients of this message okay you can also uh, open this the beauty of uh, sharepoint and exchange and microsoft is that it is sending the link okay it is sending the link not the file through uh, mailing server so regardless of the size of the file the link size is very uh, minute in just kbs or more uh, less than that so it can be sent without uh, putting extra load on your or uh, without taking uh, extra bandwidth of your uh, network and it also uh, gives uh, it also takes minimum uh, space on your mailing server because it's sending it's actually sending the link now uh, notice one more thing this is a uh, video file i want to share it 
and I'm sharing it with let's say SP19 uh, sir the video for your information okay this is the message that I have typed and here uh, there is one more important thing it uh, this link is for read only if you want to enable the user that you are sending this uh, file to allow editing as well the link will be changed and now the user using that link can also edit the file okay but if you keep this option unchecked the user can only view that file okay I think it's clear so I'm sending that that and here you have seen that I have received the notification yes sir uh, the video for your information and this if I click here it will navigate me to that site and it's asking me the username password for dual verification and here now you can see that the video is successfully opened okay it uh, is the video that is live buffering from the network uh, so closing that now if I want to share this document with any other user uh, let me see how many email boxes are in I have the email boxes of uh, HR manager fine I'm going to send it to HR manager now I have sent uh, this file to another user so so if I log into uh, HR manager now here you can see that uh, HR manager has received this sir sent as required and uh, this document has been received to HR manager so uh, viewers in this way you can easily integrate your uh, two different environments of same product uh, same vendor that is Microsoft that is uh, SharePoint and Exchange in an on-premise environment and increase the features and uh, uh, functioning of your uh, environment okay I thank you all for watching this video if you have any query uh, leave it in the comment box so that I may help you to the best of my knowledge I thank you all